Zealand is regarded as probably being the best utiliser of pasture in the world. And so our business does a lot of research and development in the area of breeding new varieties and technologies for grazing. We have a global view on how we do our R&D, but we actually deliver the market needs for on a country basis. As a country, we're too small to have all the answers. And so what we've done is we've sourced uh, technologies from Italy, technologies from the US. We have brought this back to New Zealand, developed it further, and combined that with our cell therapy to produce a world first product. We talk internally about our, our New Zealand ness, and uh, you know, we, we think that's very much around um, the way that we approach people. We're not constrained too much by, by existing thinking. Um, you know, we want to change things, but we want to change things by working with people. This is a very uh, radical way of treating diabetes. It's innovative because it uses animal cells rather than chemicals. I think what we'll see um, over time is as we go into the new developing markets that there'll be a shift from the commodity trade that's taking place today where people are just buying seed to actually shifting to proprietaries with technology. And so our role aim with our R&D program is to develop those proprietary products that have technology embedded into them, and that's where the market's going to shift. Yeah, well, Manuka honey is a great example of how we're using a, a New Zealand natural resource. We're very much selling into a market that almost has no ceiling. I mean, the functional foods business alone is over 200 billion US. Rather than products becoming commodities and being very low value, that things like honey can be very high value. It's an expensive food, but it's a very cheap medicine. The future is just a huge opportunity. You know, we have these cells in capsules for diabetes, but we have a whole pipeline. You know, there are other cells that can be used and implanted in the brain and produce beneficial effects in animal models with stroke, with Parkinson's disease, uh, in models of hearing loss. This is just the beginning of an entirely new industry for New Zealand.